Hi everybody, I wanted to share a quick tip, well actually it probably isn't going to be that quick, about how you can easily sync your gameplay um, captured videos that you've captured using your Ava Media, LGP Lite and the ReCentral um, software with externally captured audio. So for example, if I'm not recording my gameplay and my streams on my PlayStation 4 using the built-in DVR, I'll use my LGP light to record the gameplay via it's basically a HDMI uh, capture card plugged into my laptop, and then I have a, uh, a Zoom H1 handy recorder, which is just a separate voice recorder, which records nice stereo sound. But one of the challenges normally is when you when you record the files separately, um, you know you fire up uh, ReCentral. And then you'll, uh, you know, you know, you record your gameplay, and you'll do something like you'll press record on, L on Ava Media, and you'll press record on your 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 Zoom H1 or whatever you're using to record the audio separately. Is when you've done all that, is how how to sync it up in Premiere Pro, and kind of what you normally end up doing, is dragging uh, your video file across, uh, dragging your audio file across. And then you'll probably you'll give yourself some audio markers, you know. So maybe you'll say, uh, when I click on this particular button in the game, that's when when you'll do something. You know, you'll say, right, I'm clicking on the start button now. And then what you'll end up doing is you, you kind of move the audio round uh, to kind of to, to match up. And then you you'll start, you know, um, then you can start editing the video. But there is a way that you can do it automatically using the um, very very useful create multi-camera source sequence feature in uh, Premiere Pro which will look at the audio files of both both recordings and then uh, sync them up and you may well be saying whoa, whoa, whoa wait a minute <laughs> surely on the on the recording of the gameplay from the PlayStation 4 you're not getting your voice so how can it possibly sync with the, the audio file from your external recorder? Well, the answer is you can add your voice in, but not in a way that you would, that would, um, would replace the file. So it's, it's a bit complicated, but let me show you. So if we fire up um, ReCentral, let's close that and go back to the menu. If we go into the advanced section, if you go down here where it says microphone, what you can do is you could actually plug your microphone in <laughs> uh, via USB or something like that and then record your audio at the same time. But I want to um, process the audio files separately. I want to put them through Audacity and clean them up. And I want to put them through Levelator to, to, to make them louder. And I want to be able to adjust the level separately. I don't like recording my audio and my gameplay at the same time when I'm recording it separately. But what you do for the purpose of this one is you click the microphone button, but you make sure that... The, the one that you select, and in this case there's only one, is the built-in mic on your laptop or your computer if you've got one. See that microphone, Realtek High Definition uh, microphone. And what that will then do is that when I'm recording the gameplay via my uh, LGP light um, and it's recording the audio because I haven't got any headphones plugged into my controller because that's a big no-no because it won't record any audio then. As I was recording it, my laptop is capturing what I'm saying, albeit at a much lower quality than my Zoom H1 is, and it's adding it into the file here. And that's the secret source. So that means that, you know, I, I so what I'll do is I'll then press the record button in ReCentral, press the record button on my Zoom H1. They don't have to be at the same time, but I do the normal, do a sync track, you know, where I click my fingers three times, and then I'll leave a bit of quiet time which I then use, you know, as as the quiet for for cleaning things up in in Audacity, and then then when you finish you, you you finish the recording, but then what happens is when you go into Premiere Pro and you fire it up, let me get rid of these. What you then do is you then go to the two files, select them both, right click on the video file, create multi camera source sequence, let it do its business. And what that will then do is rather magically replace um, the audio on your gameplay file with your narrative audio that you've recorded on your external recorder. Again, in my case, the Zoom H1. And it will all sync up perfectly with what you were doing.
and if you if you want that you know you can you can then just just go with that and that, that will sound great if I turn let me just turn I mean, you might be able to hear something now moment on the standard PlayStation is one hour now remember it doesn't always and that will work great now the catch to just doing this kind of uh, method by itself is that the audio from the gameplay is gone it's missing um, unless you had your telly turned up loud so that the the, the, the the gameplay audio was bleeding over into your microphone it wouldn't work but that wouldn't sound very good either if you want to include the audio from the gameplay before you do any editing this is really important before you do any editing what you want to do is drag just the gameplay video over is you can take the video with just the gameplay this one and drag it over place it onto the timeline but make sure you you, you move it so that it's uh, in the same place um, right make sure it's selected right click it unlink it get rid of the video I see, I see that bit doesn't really matter that much. You could leave the video on there, it doesn't matter. But for, for, for ease of uh, handling stuff. And now, what will happen is you've got the gameplay video audio just down there. So what you can then do is using the audio mixer, you can take that second track. And you probably won't want it loud, but you can turn it down. And then what you will get is you'll get a mix of the gameplay, the gameplay audio on the share button. That's how you've got it set up. You see that little icon up here? And also, it will have the audio from the laptop, but it will be significantly quieter than the audio you've recorded using your Zoom H1 or whatever uh, when, you, when you're doing. Now, when you're editing, you do have to be careful that as you're making cuts, you cut both tracks in the same place. And when you do your, do your uh, edits... You make sure everything is the same. Otherwise, they will go out of sync and you'll start getting an echo where your uh, voice recording uh, from your Zoom H1 and the recording from the laptop on the gameplay audio starts to kind of go out of sync a little bit. And sometimes you might find that you will even want to edit. Say there was long periods where you're not talking. Um, what you could then do is you could then say, put a cut in, say there... And say there and drag that over and then maybe for that part of the audio on the audio mixer turn the audio from the the zoom h1 which would be that audio right down and then turn the gameplay audio which would be that one right up so that comes to the four and it's a really useful way of doing uh, synced audio and video from your gameplay relatively easily so just to kind of recap it then so just make sure when you're in your recentral and you're in the advanced make sure you've got microphone ticked and then just have it as the built-in microphone from your laptop or your pc do pcs have built-in microphones i don't know and then that will then record your voice at quite low volume normally along with the gameplay video and then you can use that that when you then go into Premiere Pro, you can then sync that using create a multi-camera source sequence. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful and hasn't been too confusing. I guess it probably if you've got an LGP light and you've got Premiere Pro and you do sync audio, you know, it kind of might make sense. But if you've got any questions, put them down below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you again soon.